What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, uh, we captured the island of Malta and now we are taking a bit of a break from Europe and we are fighting to expand our territories in the Americas and going for the fairly easy targets of the pirate nations and we are laying siege to the city of Punda Curacao. So without further ado, let's crack on. Bear in mind, when you're playing uh, campaigns like this that have quite a significant component in one theatre, the last theatres are available and if you to mess around with, mess around in, you can mess around in the Americas, because uh, you can't really afford to mess around in India unless the uh, unless the uh, you you start quite early on. So right now I've got a fairly simple battle line set up. Let's set them all up wide of the town. Drop our mortars in behind the lines. Then we've got quite a significant amount of melee troops. Let's make sure our sec bands do not have do not have uh, fire. Well on, I'm going to set these guys send these guys through the town actually. They can clear that of pirate forces. My cavalry push around the left. General in the centre. I mean, they do have. Okay, they are. They are. Okay, they are. They are here at least. Although, let's do an aggressive push, just because it will take forever to actually get anywhere. Uh, my cavalry is under attack, so I want my cavalry to uh, get through their lines. Buccaneers, swathes and swathes of buccaneers. Got some militia, but yeah, mostly very, very irregular troops. It looks like there is no one in the town, so let's speed up time because right now there isn't. <laughs> nothing's going on. Um, there is no grand strategy beyond uh, push up and take them out. Simply because they are pirates, and pirates are... They aren't the greatest of troops. Uh, they're very, very... I think they're all mostly light infantry. They can do some damage when it comes to musketry. Not a huge amount. The vast majority, uh, what what you actually find is that uh, they can't put out much firepower, and their morale usually breaks before the actual fight itself. So as we're running our line, let's just run our melee troops up, ready to storm the other flank. Our gunners are getting into position, but I doubt they're going to uh, realistically have too much involvement. You guys need to run. There you go, just done limber. Let's make sure to move my general up as well. Because yeah, when these Janissaries and so on um, hit them on the flank, then it'll just be a case of rolling them up. Be very careful, my cavalry. I have got defences down, but here we go. Don't sound. The sound is working. set some of my melee troops to go and engage these guys that are already out of position. God damn. Yep. There they go. They haven't even barely even 
started fighting the battle and they've already started to crack. To be honest, I might just send all these melee units up here. This does seem a bit of a waste, but it's chiefly uh, because their line isn't going to stand. Okay. Chase down the foot artillery. Yeah, they have hit some of our Cairo guards. We can bring the unit of sec bands back to help out, but I suspect the Cairo guards will probably be enough to fight them off alone. Retarget our artillery, start to fight some of the chaps that are hunkering down in the centre. Come on, you fellas. You're reloading. Chase down the militia. So you guys hit the back of those guys. You guys chase and run on and continue engaging. Yeah, these pirates are going, would get are going to get chewed apart. Like it looks like all pretty much across the board. Uh, the pirates are just, yeah, the pirates break, so they're quite a, they're quite a good uh, faction to go for. As far as territory expansion goes, because uh, they never, never really build in strength to stop you. Let's just stop our artillery fire. Camels can have fun. Let's just speed up time. This is going to be a big exercise in allowing... Hello? Big exercise in allowing uh, cavalry to do most of the job. They're all routed as well. Okay, Mamelukes. You guys get out of the way. So you go on and chase down those buccaneers. I mean, these infantry are trying. To be honest, just let them get out of the way. Although you, you're just missed. Just missed getting squashed by that cavalry unit. They've gone. Doesn't really matter because it's a city battle and they've already been destroyed. Um, it's a way to get some easy experience. Yeah, but when it comes to these battles, I was kind of... Well, I am expecting a few more city assaults. That's why I've got so many melee infantry. I'm expecting to scale more, war more walls and so on. There we go. Butcher the last of the buccaneers. I mean, there are some over here. They are going to escape. Ah, damn it. Oh well, take it as a good win. 200 men lost and we've captured the town. Can't replenish it. Can we repair the port? We can. The port needs some good spending on it next turn. So let's put a, a guard unit into Otto Brander. Just hold it up. So we are blockading the Mughals here. We are looking to, looking to move towards continental uh, the continental US but what I would like oh, none of you are particularly good at that you, are you building uh, no one's recruiting anything okay so I might steal one of the ships the fourth rate to come out of port to protect Cinemary to keep uh, to keep the port secure while we build over in Fortress Europa. You're holding strong. Mr. Husnuddin, you're holding strong across the river. So we are now at war with Dagestan. So we are soon going to be marching on their capital. We do have some Mughal forces marching towards us. 
in Zahedan. That's why we're going to build up their garrison. We're going to build up another force here in Esfahan to get ready to provide forces to attack eastward. We also need to keep growing our strength here at Bandar Abbas to prevent any flow of armies through the Strait of Hormuz. Although, I don't know if that was what the, they, they called it at the time, but... Yeah. Okay, we're getting quite close to the end game when it comes to research. 17 turns for shrapnel shot. Hmm. Seems like a lot of turns, although not really anything else that can be done. Standard check on the Iroquois. The ally with Austria and Britain. Don't want to wind them. We well, don't want to wind up Britain yet. Uh, not until we've pushed through the continent a bit more. So we do have this annoying fellow deployed off of the coast. He's probably going to land and hit Riga and likely take it. But I'm okay with them taking it. But we do need to build up our navy in the Baltic. Yeah, you guys are pushing on towards Berlin. We are en route. May even be en route to capture it. But we are managing to get some... Uh, we're getting the squeeze on. We're starting to drive a bit of a wedge between north and south because Dresden's unprotected. Bohemia, or Prague, I should say, is ripe for the taking, but we haven't got significant forces there to take it let's push this fellow on to try and infiltrate cologne or actually just stand near it we don't need to fully infiltrate it let's do a usual check on our agents to make sure they're deployed in suitable places most of the time i think we are the overall conversion to islam is going well don't worry, we are going to push on to Denmark at some point. Obviously, you guys captured the city, then you're going to sail on to hit Tunis. Then we need to keep an eye on Denmark, really. Let's have a look at Denmark. We're very friendly with Denmark. And how much trade are they providing? 5,000. Not a huge amount, but we've got a lot of good trade partners. But, critically, our... Tax income is 108,000. Our overall expenditure is 88,000. So we'd still be 20 grand up. And one thing to bear in mind, actually, is in lots of our towns, we do have these uh, religious buildings, which we will want to slowly start to go through and check whether we need and whether they may be better replaced with uh, other buildings like Comey. You still have religious unrest, so you can stay convert converting Archangels. You're the next target for that priest. <laughs> How else is there on to, re to resupply that army? I'm pretty sure Moscow's got a... Yep, there it is. A, a Yusekokol. I would imagine. I'm probably butchering that. You can keep converting, because that's still not a huge chunk of population. You're marching onwards all the way down to Belgrade ready to land just to make sure Sarajevo is fully converted actually it's being converted now um, Zagreb is being converted which is great although it's not enough compared to the presence of the seminary and both of these priests so we're slowing it down but not too much still don't want to push here because both of these armies are a bit weakened you could do with a bit of a boost in strength, which you are getting. Um, but the main effort, I think, is into the north. Because if we can take Berlin, that pretty much reduces or eliminates the capacity for the German Navy to have much effort in the Baltic. I mean, they are going to capture this territory, but this is why we've got this army here. They'll immediately go in and capture it back. And if needs be, if they push east then we can call in one of these armies up here. Um, okay. So, let's hit in turn. As our agents move on. To newer pastures, closer to the front. But the, make no mistake, the central powers sans their best me member 
has taken a lot of punishment. They've taken some quite significant losses in the Central European front. So they're likely to throw more forces into the mix. But I think it feels like the forces marching towards Berlin are fairly unstoppable. Especially if they're going to leave, if they're going to march, uh, if they're going to march armies away from the capital towards the coast. See, that's what I want to do is block the passage of ships into the Baltic. So that means any holdings they have in Western Europe can no longer uh, interfere But that is a pretty strategic priority, I think, to grow our strength in the our naval strength in the Baltic, especially due to the fact that then we will have the Swedish to contend with as well. And then the swift movement of troops over across the Baltic to hit uh, their capital will be vital. But that's the balance, as in with all of these strategies, we want to have that overwhelming force on land in order to ensure dominance against the land forces of Prussia and Austria. I think that that guy that's running around is trying to... Ooh, why are you going up there? Let's auto-resolve it and see how many people we can kill. 200? Not bad. How odd. They're boxed in, because our army can now march northeast and cut them off from going anywhere and it will be Swedish territorial integrity that will prevent them from going east to hit somewhere like St. Petersburg. <laughs> they finally got round to uh, pushing us out. The key is though that we keep their... Uh, you can try and steal our technology. It won't be long till our universities are destroyed and the opportunity to steal that technology no longer exists. Mm. You should be concerned, Venice. Your holdings in North, Af North Africa are vulnerable. So yeah, it says army destroyed, but that's a garrison covering the port. Okay, we can hit them so let's move you nearby because we'll probably... Oh, I don't know, actually, you probably can't quite reach them now. No. You don't don't attack, don't chase them. Stay where you are. So you're getting some third rates, so let's recruit some more thirds. Let's hop over to the Americas where we can expand our influence overseas and it's probably knock down this weaver's cottage and build a religious building to get ready to start to spread the word of Islam. I probably want to keep you guys blockading the port there. Um, so what would be a good target? Florida would be would be okay. Louisiana might be quite good, because then we've immediately got a relatively friendly nation to our west. Or at least someone who won't get involved in our conflict. So before I do that, I just realised I do want to uh, re repair this army and probably recruit some sort of militia infantry there. And let's go pick up some of these buildings being constructed. Military engineer school... I love picking up industry buildings. And I can see them on the map, but I do want to go through them like this to make sure I don't miss any. Get the Pasha's Palace, you've got good roads coming online. Army Staff College in Turkey, or in, in Ankara, not that region's fully upgraded. Upgrade farms, upgrade the madrasas. Craft workshop. Sultan's Observatory in Jerusalem. Now this is not quite as necessary. We can start to spend... Well, you know, the, the situation isn't quite as risky. We can actually spend money upgrading Jerusalem's infrastructure. 
as it stands, we have significant capability to wage war. You can probably stand to pick up some... Ooh! Circassian Armoured Cavalry. Let's get two of those. Take you a long time to get here, though. Where the hell are they being recruited? Are they in Ankara? They are! Okay. Let's not recruit you like this specifically. Let's actually max out a set of recruitment for Ankara, then start to march them north east. Northwest, sorry. I don't want to, ooh, don't want to pick that up. That's a bit too expensive in one go. Pick up a few of these. Um, but what I'm particularly curious of... Yes, my great guns! So you're going up to St. Petersburg first, but I'm pretty sure somewhere... Didn't we rack a... Yeah, we did. We racked a bunch up to be manu to be recruited and then sent up to the... Uh, sent up to the front. Because right now, to me, Berlin looks ripe. So let's hit you into the city. You guys act as a bit of a blocking force for these guys that may wish to drive towards us. And you also hit... Berlin. Just want to make sure my my upgrades onto the uh, my upgrades into the ports and so on are actually all my recruitment stuff is going on. So you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Okay. Well then. Let's pick you. Actually, if I pick so if I pick this army to the south. I'm pretty sure I draw in the Dresden garrison. But if I pick this guy to the north, I do not. Question is, do I want to drag in the garrison? I, I kind of do. I kind of do. Because if we can defeat the garrison quickly, then these guys will be heavily damaged, and then maybe this full stack could immediately sprint south and capture Dresden. But one thing I do want to do before I do any of that is pick this guy up and send him west, actually. You can just about do it. I didn't actually check. Uh, I can... Yeah, you can pick up some more guns, because I need you s somewhere nearby to start to uh, fill in some gaps. Okay, let's pick Murad Mutar and let's go and capture the German capital. I know they will absolutely hate um, for many turns. Actually, it won't be quite, you know, that's the funny thing. Game. It's what it, what it kind of represents by destroying the university is if you destroy it, it gets rid of the clamour for it. It would temporarily make things worse because there would be an outcry about the destruction of the universities. But then maybe a longer term decline of clamour for reform to represent the idea that less people are getting educated. Potentially. In case people going in the breaches are my grenadiers, my hand mortars, and my light infantry. And we're going to get some Sekban Janissaries ready as well. Plus our cavalry standing by as always. I've got one unit of howitzers back here. So you're all going to be. I oh, know I didn't deploy you with the howitzers like that. All together, happy as a clam, dropping quick climb. My Nizam infantry are going to be pushing in from this cluster of trees here to then push around and hit this back corner of the fort. Let's pick our targets. I mean, for most of them, it doesn't really matter a huge amount. 
dropping and quick climb in the centre. Firelock comes citizenry, but they're units that are quite closely clustered together. So we can do maximum damage. That's what they got in the centre. Got the Grenadier Guards, Lancer Guards, Royal Prussian Cuirassier Guards that don't... I don't know, they didn't really jump out at me. But we'll match them with our own Lancers. But their guns are responding. So I'm probably going to speed up time a little bit because... All that's happening is that our guns are firing at them. <laughs> They're firing at us. And what I want to do is is draw some of these men off of the walls. And so the best way to do that is to make the breach so you can... They'll form a new pocket around here, which you can slowly pick away at. Draw men away from here, so when my, sec when my uh, Nizam assault the walls, they'll have fewer uh, troops blocking their way. And I might get the infantry to work on this... Bastion as well to try and create a second entrance. So let's pick you to aim at the 32nd regiment on the wall there. You keep aiming at those guys because they're f they are quite full. You can start to pick at the mercenaries, the militia forming behind the line, behind the fort. They know this is where we're going to try and get in. They're going to deploy men to stop us. No, let's not go that fast. Yeah, this is the usual AI behaviour. And the ideal scenario is I capture the city, my reinforcing army is not touched, and they can immediately march south and hit uh, Dresden. However, I do want to check whether they are in range of whether they're in range of the garrisons down towards Vienna which would be useful um, maybe but I think that would still result in lots of uh, losses of Ottoman lives so we'll see how it goes I hope you don't mind me speeding this up because otherwise it would be it would have been six minutes of nothing really happening okay specifically do not target that unit you do not want this unit dying or routing. So they've got mortars back here, don't they? There they are. Garrison mortars. Our infantry work on this section here. Well, look at, well, and as usual, when we do attack, we want to provide multiple targets so that their mortars can't focus fire on any one... Uh, point of attack. That's very important. So you light infantry, militia. So lots of cavalry, which is a concern, but not not dangerous. Some of our guns don't work. go. Guns away. And hearts are coming in as well. Okay, let's start the ball rolling. I'm probably going to run these guys so they don't get shot in the back by... Uh, so they don't get shot in the back by my field artillery. Actually, I might just quickly stop them from firing. Push my guns up. Didn't work. I didn't... Still shot into the back of my Janissary Grenadiers. So my hand mortars would be good to get within the breach because they would start to lob some quite good shots. Yeah, one of you work on troops on the wall. One of you work on those conscripts back there. Another one of you keep having a crack at these guys on the walls because these guys will start to pour down uh, when... Actually, maybe hit that unit of mercenaries. These guys will pour down once we, once we start our final attack. So let's 
definitely something to bear in mind. My Nizam infantry aren't terrible, but they are infantry still. They are not um, perfect beasts. So let's get our hand mortars up in position to start to lob shots inside the walls. Maybe put my Semat Janissaries on the flank up here to help support picking off some of these units further down the wall. Our Grenadiers and our Light Infantry ready to form a line in response to uh, whatever may come out of the breach. Against blunderbuss shotgunners, they should be okay at the close range fight. Continuing to chip away, I hear a charge. march up a little bit more. Always forget that their their range is very small. You guys climb the breach over here. run out of the breach because it looks like they might actually be <laughs> coming out to meet you so from right to left fire at will with the light infantry fire at will with the center janissaries climb the walls you guys fire at will i just want my blunderbuss shotgunners to be clear some friendly fire all victories come at a cost set our men to attack or attack the walls. Oh, what we do. Sepahi, get involved. Janissary Grenadiers, get involved. You guys specifically aim at the militia. Oh, Grenadiers, stay down. Cavalry can now get through the gates in a second position. If you guys can get up the gates and capture the walls, that would be perfect. Good. Gates have been secured here, so they will not charge out. However... Push in. Make sure hand mortars aren't firing. Rush the cavalry in. You guys push along the walls to engage these conscripts. You guys just form up on the wall, don't go anywhere else, although that order may result in them running in the gate. Thankfully it hasn't, they're just going to climb up. Janissary Grenadiers, get them into the breach. Start to really run our cavalry through. Run my Delhi Horsemen because they're light cavalry straight at the breach. Howitzers fire round shot and focus on these guys on the right flank, I suppose. There we go. We've started to hit their Started to hit their uh, general unit in the centre. Yep, you guys push west. You guys continue to attack the shotgunners. When these guys are up, they can form up on the fire step and kill lots of their cavalry. Come on, Sipahi. Get 
through that damn breach. Oh no, light infantry, you guys get out of the way. Okay, let's get you guys in against the mercenaries, because for whatever reason, the Janissary Grenadiers are actually losing. Wonderful shotgunners are doing a surprisingly good job as well. Come on. Get the Sipahi through. Because right now we've got a bit of a blockage. Got my grenadiers against the militia, my cavalry. Support the cavalry in the centre. To be honest. In this unit, just focus on getting up here. My mortars have routed, and that's that's fair enough. They were they did charge them into a combat they weren't entirely happy with. Field Marshal of Europe's come out to play now. Okay, it's starting to get a bit dodgy. Dicey. aren't giving up. When these guys are up on the walls, they'll pour some good fire onto some of these Prussian cav units. We're starting to draw in some of their reinforcements. Oh, that's where they've come from. That makes a lot of sense. does make a lot of sense, but I don't think it's going to uh, help them in the grand scheme. Daddy Horsemen have routed, which is understandable. Field artillery, engage the reinforcements as they come in. Do not mind killing our own if it means killing you guys get back to the guns to provide support. You guys charge the provincial militia. Come on, you guys get to the top of that wall. Some of you guys, I don't know what you guys are doing. Some of you are climbing down the walls. Oh, don't tell me they're bugged. Perfect. You want to see? We want at least some of the units to be able to form a coherent defence. When those guys are up, though, should do some good damage against the Royal Prussian Curacia Guards. Right now it's a bit congested down here. I don't quite know why... Well, you guys aren't... ...doing a better job at getting up the walls. Although it looks like... ...a good number of them are bugged. So really, we need you guys to get over here and start clearing some space. these guys to form up over the gate because right now down here it's too busy it's too much stuff going on down here they almost made it to our oh those are our grenadiers okay so our reinforcements coming in well their reinforcements coming in stand our reinforcements back a bit further these guys okay 
I oh, know they are still going to be bugged. So then maybe you guys get over here. So how are you going to try hard? But actually, they're not—they're not against a huge amount of good cavalry. But they do have field marshal near them. So they've got a set of guns over here, but I want them to uh, commit their forces to the defence of the of the city before committing my own men. Might run these guys into the command HQ. Provides quite a good 360 field of fire against a lot of targets. So if I run you guys now down here, do the guys that are bugged run along the wall? No. these guys will actually form a fairly useful these guys are going to be okay yeah when these guys are all on the wall they'll fire into the militia unit which will be good well so Pahi are doing a good job in this combat sufficiently slow I might actually try run them back to here even though they'll take casualties so that the back of this cavalry combat is facing the command HQ as it is Right now, they would be firing into my combat. And what I want is to be firing into the back of their combat. So these are regimental dragoons. Okay, now you guys have a go at them. Good, there we go. Good fire coming out of the, out of the command HQ. So you guys form fire. Well, off. Why are you guys wavering? Okay, you guys run down here as well. Yeah, that. This is an excellent way of whittling down cavalry. So unless they send my. Unless they send infantry to storm it, they won't ever realistically take it. Don't want the howitzers, you guys can run away. Switch to round sharp. You guys form into square, because it looks like they're going to now decide to... You're withdrawing, that's okay. Okay. Oh no, have they abandoned their guns? No, it's dragoons on foot coming in now. This weak unit of Samat Janissaries is hasn't done so well. It looks like they're going to attempt to charge the command HQ. But right now, this is a very good killing field for their cavalry. Because they cannot respond to this firepower, and it's not bad infantry either. Hey, you guys came back. Let's get these Nizam down off the wall. Looks like everyone needs to be there is there. The militia are charging, which they are more than welcome to do. So this other unit Go over to this side of the wall. The trouble is, when they are bugged, the only thing they will realistically do is melee combat. And that's about it. Okay, you guys need to drop down into square. Because the cavalry are coming. So have they actually those yeah they are dismounted dragoons right oh no okay not a match for my sipahi and cavalry though field artillery engage the dragoons let's 
keep there you that field artillery. Jump on the field marshal of Europe, because there's only one of him, two of them in this unit. Especially as we've got the field marshal surrounded by our bayonets. Looks like the bugged units have sorted themselves out, generally. These dragoons will be taking a lot of a lot of punishment. They'll need to attempt to break my squares, which is difficult considering the amount of firepower that one lone Nizam is capable of putting out. These guys have been these guys have killed the field marshal, so let's get into position. Charge my cavalry in to knock out their their own cavalry. These dragoons are getting engaged by our. Oh, you guys have got a bit of a ragged square formation going on. Uh, you guys fall back. To be honest, so can you. We have no need for three generals. Come on, men. Make ready. I don't see anyone stuck outside, so you must be weighing on some people to reload. Stay forming square. Then yeah, let's just run them to the centre and drop them in square formation. These units off the walls finally. Get my Sipahi in to do some counter cavalry charges. The 86th, just stay in the square as long as you can. It's funny, really, they're not actually guaranteed, they're not swapping positions to uh, engage cavalry around the town. You guys can get into the centre. No, don't form a square like that. Because <laughs> they'll, they'll manage to form square in such a way that they can't actually uh, hold the centre. Oh, these guys are holding the square. We've got one cavalry, three cavalry. The garrison forces have broken. There they go. The Prussians have broken. It hasn't gone as cleanly as I would like, but I think we've generally managed to keep the uh, other army involved. So that's a good victory. It's costlier than we would have... But costlier for them. So the uh, garrison is... It, it is damaged. Okay, Magdeburg, so long. Right now, they only hate us minus three, surprisingly. So when we get rid of Magdeburg, get rid of the College of Divinity, let's replace that with good, good Islamic buildings instead. That's pretty awesome. Here, I'm still waiting for them to make the right move, but then again, I'm still replenishing, so... You need to replenish and I can't afford it. The time may come where Mr. Nadim, who, Nadim, who's been holding this bridge for a long time, he's still got Bashi Bazooks, will need to cross the river. Eh, let's put them under siege for now. <laughs> that's, that's very much a sideshow. I'm not too bothered about that. Okay, so we've done all our spending. We've done all the stuff we want to do. We can't attack this guy up here in Pamu. So let's hit end turn. And I am definitely over. I knew I'd be over when I sieged Berlin at the 22nd minute-ish. So I knew I'd be running over. But I was happy to let it go. I was happy to let it run. Just because uh, I think... 
I think it was good to make. Ooh, I don't want to do that because even though I'm, even though I'm, well, I'm, I'm badly depleted across the board, really. Same again. No, it would. Yeah, if my armies were fully, fully replenished. Spain wants an alliance. Who are you at war with that I'm not? Although, to be honest, I'm not allied with anyone. You're at war with Britain, Sweden, Venice. Well, we've got lots of the same enemies. Okay, let's let's do it to just dangle the possibility of negative relations with Sweden in the air. Because we're doing well across Europe. I'm not bothered about Spain in the Americas. India is coming, so it's good. It would be good to uh, harmonise our efforts in that regard. But I think things are going really well, generally. We've still got a Prussian navy behind the lines. It's a bit of a frustration, but if they're just going to sit there, I'm kind of content to just let them sit there. Pulling one of their one of their armies back from the lines completely. That's quite fascinating. You're sending your units somewhere. I don't quite know where. They really do want to hold on to uh, uh, Venice and well, Hungary uh, at all costs. Uh, do not want to intercept because that army is very depleted. Ooh, that's my reinforcing army that can re that can replenish that that can intercept them, and that would be a good idea, because that looks like it's drawing in this guy, and probably the former garrison that did come to help that's had some got some units recruited, so it would be quite good to send some of my cavalry around to go and chop up some of these horse guard artillery. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this <laughs> surprise hour-long special. And I'll see you next time for another hour-long special where we're going to fight uh, this army outside the walls of Berlin. Cheers, everyone.